Yo, what up? Welcome back to Project Regia. We're here with another marathon video. This one is more physical. It's uh, got to do with real world objects, materials, and the tasks that we have associated with it. Um, particularly about food, it's about uh, clothing, groceries, alarms, and troubleshooting. Um, so it's a different sort of, it's kind of, I guess it's more like a vlog, you call it a vlog, as opposed to a, um, what's the other word? Um, a vlog as opposed to a behind the scenes technical video. Um, and it's definitely not a reaction either, but that's that. So why don't we just dive right into it? We're not going to waste any time. Um, we are kind of past that, uh, compared to the previous videos. We mentioned that we're just going to focus on things and get right to it. So the first thing we're gonna do is pull up some, uh, something really interesting that we mentioned actually earlier in a previous video or so, but it's a bit of a failure. So we have here two of these security alarms, one, two, and uh, horrible. Okay, it turns out both of these are dysfunctional. They don't work. Um, you can remove the lid and I have to be careful not to place where I place the alarms because uh, they don't actually shouldn't go on the laptop because they have magnets. So these four batteries here have um, been leaking and not just this one, but this one as well. So both of them have been leaking fluids and um, they're all dried. So the good news is that it's not poisonous to me um, unless I start to do something stupid like, it, like I ingest it. But the point is uh, there have been leaking battery acid for quite some time. And so it gives an idea of how long these products have been on the shelf, but no one's ever bought it. Because I guess people kind of knew it was just a dud and stupid me decided to buy it. Um, even though I knew that there was a probability that they would fail, I didn't think it would be this bad. Anyways, I put the plastic slip back in. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the packaging, so it's not likely that I'll be able to get it. I will be able to get a refund, but we are going to try. Nevertheless, we're going to show customer service specifically how damaged the batteries are. They've been leaking for a while. Imagine buying a product and it's already defective. So it's a defective product. And, um, you know, the worst part is we actually used our reward points that we accumulated over the course of maybe two, three years for the purchase of this. Thankfully, this thing only cost about $25, but but that's still $25 lost. $25 is in nothing, right? That's a, for me specifically, that's quite a bit. Now, what I do want to mention is, uh, you know, if I pull open the cap here and I showcase inside, here's a plastic, right? That's kind of blocking the batteries. Um, I want to mention that um, one of these actually had the batteries when I opened them inserted backwards, okay? So I don't know if that played a role in it, but another reason why I can say that it's defective is because no matter which setting I turn in from this side, whether it's the, there's three settings here, actually. You can you can barely see the knob because of the lighting. It's so poor and the resolution is so poor. But if I move to this side, it's supposed to be the chime. In the middle, it's supposed to be turning it on. And over to the left, it's supposed to be the high pitch, high frequency decibel ring. None of them are working. The one over here is supposed to be something about the batteries. I don't know what it's supposed to say. What's supposed to do if I press that button, but in either case, none of it works uh, properly. Um, all I can say is that there's a barely a bit of functionality to this, and that's when, uh, regardless of whether or not I use these batteries or so the batteries that they came with that were already leaking battery acid for quite some time, or brand new batteries which I tried, and these are the ones I purchased from Dollarama, so I want to showcase these as well. I insert, I replaced them to see that maybe it might work just to find out that no, in fact, it does not work. It just leads to the same result. And what is the result? So at least it doesn't do nothing. It turns out that there is some sound, but the sound is nothing but static. So that's fuck all. Uh, pretty useless piece of gadget right here. And uh, we will be returning these unless, in fact, what we're gonna do is, uh, the plan is to go back tomorrow. We're gonna take these, these two, the purchase we purchased we made this purchase only a couple of days ago and we're gonna bring these brand new battery ass batteries 
plus the broken battery, uh, the leaking batteries and the alarms. And we're gonna take it to customer service. I'm gonna see, you know, why don't you guys show me whether or not this actually works. Maybe I'm just not using it properly. So here's supposed to be the sensor. If the door or the window's over here and then the latch is over here and it moves, I still can't hear much of a sound. No matter what I, no matter what positioning I try to place it. So that's a failure. That's a dud. These are the alarms. These are the batteries. That's the first thing we want to talk about today in this video. Okay, moving to the second one. Another physical item we have, much more simpler. These are just a pair of socks, and uh, we're just going to unbox the socks. So uh, we have these uh, Sorb Tech, and I'm going to read it out loud here. But uh, I've already taken a scan photograph of everything here, so it's all online. Um, and I can rip it off and toss it away. And that's what I've been itching to do. So these are men's outdoor trekking socks from Ozark Trail. That's the brand name, Ozark Outdoor Equipment, Outdoor Trekking. It's a performance comfort um, socks. Uh, the branding helps save the planet. Uh, 25 plastic bottles, 25 500 milliliter plastic bottles in every three pair pack. So they are using recyclable material to make these socks. That's great and all. Um, I remember I used to be quite enthusiastic about that when uh, environmentalism was quite a thing. I know that's not quite so much anymore because there are more important things at foot. At the bottom here, we have Sorbtech and people really overdid it. Those goddamn activists. All right, Sorbtech moisture management uh, technology, great releases it to keep you drier, moves it out and catches moisture. So those are three features here at the bottom here. It releases, I don't know, I guess the odor, uh, the moisture moves it out and catches moisture. Okay, great. On the back side, there's even more to read. It says moisture management keeps feet cool and dry. I realize now that I didn't have any music playing. Um, let me see if I can play the music right now. And uh, yeah, I just realized I didn't have the music playing. I apologize for that. Stream beats. Okay, well, it's fine. No music's playing. Um, anyways, over here we have, ooh, that's the intermission. <laughs> All right. I thought that there's no music playing, is there? Shit. Come on. Let me see if I can make it get back to normal. So I can actually listen to some music. Light shift. You know what doesn't matter i guess you guys have to go without music for now but uh we can't delay you any further so here is the pair of socks we're supposed to unbox right so moisture management keeps it keeps the feet cool and dry mesh ventilation for breathability our compression to secure fit impact cushioning for shock absorption and added comfort and then they have it in french so technologie de gestion de l'humidité qui garde vos Fuck. I've lost my French accent completely. Compression de la voûte. Compression de la voûte. mon optimal. Cuisinage réduisant. Les impacts pour ça absorbe les chocs en les chocs et offrir un confort de crew. I don't know. Listen, let's just pull this thing off. All right, I, I'm just kind of butchering language right there. I'm pretty sure I just made a few couples over in Paris jump off the Eiffel uh, with that kind of pronunciation. And, uh, yeah, that's okay. Let's just take this over here. And uh some more to make up for it. So we got a pair of socks. We're just gonna take out the plastic. 
that binds the socks together. We can find it. There we go, we can find this, you know, little plastic thing. It's all garbage, of course. We're going to make sure that we get rid of it. I hope that, you know, I would think that by now at this point, uh, Spotify should be working. But it's not. Come on, man. Spotify. No. Spotify is just not playing anything. Well, I apologize, guys. I tried to get the music running, but it's not running. So we'll just have to go without music today. Yeah. Hmm. Whatever. All right, so that's the spare socks. And we're going to pull off in the back here. We have the poly 95 polyester, the material. 4% uh, rubber, 1% spandex, D27 black combo noir. And, uh, oh, care instructions. So wash before wearing, okay. Uh, machine wash cold with similar colors. Do not bleach, tumble dry low, and do not iron. Uh, those are things I do by default anyway, so it, I don't have to concern myself with it. Let's just pull it off then. I'm going to pull out the plastic once more. Okay. Just going to remove this. And uh, there we go. We have uh, brand new socks now. I'm probably going to keep the hook here. It looks very convenient for me to um, hang socks in case in the dryer from the dryer. Um, and uh, I think that's a good idea. So let's see. Uh, there's three different types, I believe. No, two, three, two. So it's three completely different designs. No, they're very similar, actually, but... Um, they're slightly different each. And I really like that. Basically I purchased, they have this red, black, and gray um, patterning across. And that's basically why that was really important for me because it fits the um, roll brand. So we can see that I was just hooks like into this right here. There's a, a triplet. This is a hanger for three pairs of socks. It's individually very nice. We're gonna keep it like that. And uh, maybe I can showcase one of them, you know. So just like this, and here's one design. It's got a nice uh, magenta burgundy kind of feel to it. Just slip it back in. The other ones are more grayish with a red outline. One's patched. One's at the front and whatever, it doesn't matter. So socks. Okay, batteries and alarms, dysfunctional. We're going to return, and we have some garbage now. Some plastic garbage, some paper garbage. No recyclables, I'm just going to leave it here. All right, what's next? We have some groceries. And uh, they're not particularly healthy. It's uh, Joe's Tasty Travels Punjabi Mix. And Joe's Tasty's Travels Spicy Plantain Chips. You get both of these at Walmart. They're very cheap. This one's 300 grams for five for three dollars, and uh, it's not very healthy though. Of course, 300 milligrams of sodium per 500 for 50 grams. It's crazy. 16% um, fat, 5% saturated, two grams of fiber, and two grams of sugar. Five grams of protein. That's all right. That's pretty good. Um, ingredients. Peanuts, chickpeas, chickpea noodles, sorry, split Bengal gram, uh, chickpea, you know, anyways, it's called Punjabi mix, what else did you expect, right? So it's a bunch of lentils. Um, and then the spicy plantain chips are uh, 140 grams. This, the great thing about this is that it's got no sodium, but, no, it has sodium, but only 40 milligrams, instead has 250 milligrams of potassium, which is good for, um, lowering your blood pressure. So warding off hypertension, 
and more importantly, four grams of fiber per 50 grams. So this has by far the most amount of fiber for any of these like uh, Joe's Tasty Travels types of foods, except for the direct flaxseed, which of course flaxseed is just an ingredient. So of course it's gonna have a lot more fiber. Okay, so that's it. Got these two packages. Um, last thing I'm gonna cover probably in this video is uh now we can probably cover everything i'm pretty sure i don't want to make a second video on like items we have uh we brought some mcdonald's as well so there's an apple pie in here and um there's also some honey syrup you know some maple syrup uh for pancakes we can get those for free if you go to the terminal um the machine to make your purchase you can just select you know the f condiments and then you can select free items there which are it took like two condiments of peanut butter and two condiments of of syrup i'm pretty cheap like that i have an apple pie here for very cheap as well for two for two dollars always get that deal and then plus this sausage muffin which is finished already for two dollars now a plastic bag with uh, bananas okay so i think i'll wrap up that um i took a photograph of everything here already turns out that uh, we are going to spend uh, too much time just uh, for all this kind of stuff here it seems like that's already more than 10 minutes and uh, if i take a look yes it is it's been 16 minutes so we have to end this this is uh reshev with a physical video i can't believe it actually took that lot that much time um we still have more items to cover so that's going to be the next video and uh it might not be uploaded at the same time you know i mean at the same like back to back consecutively might be the next week after but that's it so thank you for tuning in i'm going to toss away the garbage and then we'll cover the other stuff which is exciting because we got food bank stuff because we are in a situation it turns out where we need that kind of um support and then we also have some products that we purchased for our, our buddy as well as uh, nutritionals for ourselves Okay, with that being said, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.